Hey guys, what's up? Wes Adams here with Autodesk, and I want to tell you about the newest version of my LT, the 2016 release. It's got some great new features for indie game makers, and I think it's going to help make it easier than ever for you guys to get up and running making your next 3D game. Let me tell you about it. We're always improving the animation tools in Maya LT, so in the 2016 release, we added in Spline IK and Cluster Deformations. So now you can use Spline IK to add curve-based IK chains to your rig. So that means if you wanted to add a tail or a tentacle or maybe a trunk on an elephant, things like that, you can create a much wider array of characters. We've also got a lot of really cool enhancements to the viewport. So first of all, the animation tools are rendered really, really fast in the viewport now. We've got some new technology that works between the CPU and the GPU. So if you're manipulating your character rigs, they're going to refresh a lot faster, which makes it easier to see. We now can have textures loading in the background while the artist starts to work. So you no longer have to wait for all of the textures in your scene to load before you start working. And this is going to save a lot of time, especially when you're working in really big scenes. So we're also continuing to improve the modeling tools and also the UV tools in my LT. We've got this really cool new integrated sculpting set. It's all brushes based on what's in Mudbox. So if you want to do some high level sculpting, you can just do it right in there without having to transfer back and forth between tools. This is going to be really helpful for people that are needing to make tweaks or adjustments and not have to increase the iteration time. Doing UVs is really, it's never fun, but it's always so important and so necessary to get it right. So the 2016 release uh, improves on the Unfold 3D integration that we did last year. There's a lot more interactive tools. It's going to make it a lot easier for you guys to get in there and then edit your UVs and see it updated in real time on your model in the viewport. So we've done something really cool with shader effects. You can now use new nodes in shader effects to make physically based materials for your models in Maya LT. So this is going to let you create a huge variety of materials and make them much more realistic and it's just a lot easier to do. So we've also increased the poly cap on files exported in FBX and OBJ from 65,000 quads up to 100,000 quads. And then the last thing we did is really cool, we've got this massive UI overhaul that makes the UI a lot more uniform in its color palette and then also lets it scale up to really high resolution displays like you'd have on a retina machine. So we've got a great new release this year. You know, since we started building My LT almost two years ago now, the idea has really been to build it with the indie game making community. So if you want to be involved with the development of My LT, it's really easy. Just go to myltfeedback.autodesk.com. We always include features that are suggested and upvoted by the community. So if you'd like to learn more about the new release MyLT 2016, just go to autodesk.com slash MyLT.